if you don't mind, I'd like to stand up because I find it comfortable. I come here and I wasn't going to ask any question but until Andy opened his mouth and mentioned about education. Uh, I'm passionate about education and I believe uh, education is a passport out of poverty. I yeah. came to this country when I was 12 years old and if it wasn't for education and EMA, I wouldn't be where I am going to university and my family would have done it. Yeah, definitely I benefit with them. But currently I live in one of the most deprived area of England, uh, Werneth Ward. I'm 42 years old and I've always heard that I live in deprived world where you've got highest, one of the highest number of unemployment rate anywhere in the country uh, in Oldham. People in uh, uh, copies, Primrose Bank and Town Centre do not have access to uh, good or outstanding attainment uh, education for primary or secondary school. We are being excluded uh, through um, through. Uh, secondary school administration criteria. My son, we live in Blue Court, Crompton, and other outstanding school. We, I don't have an access to that school. So my question would be to you is, what, you know, what intervention and strategies are in place to help one of the most deprived world uh, in Oldham? Uh, you know, I just, before, just before I come here, you know, I was almost in tears. My son goes to Werner Primary School. Again, the primary school, so many changes that have been go uh, gone through. Bright Tribe has, uh, you know, is moving away. Again, it's impacting education. You mentioned about how important education is. Massively. Massively. If us in town centre, base cannot access the basic thing of attending a good uh, outstanding secondary school what hope have we got my pledge to you is you know i pay a lot of council tax and increase by another four percent because it goes to the mayors so my question would be to <laughs> my question would be is 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 you know help us support us and also Andy, i've got a lot of respect for you uh, and and so I'm well. you know and i'm passionate <laughs> and i do get myself into trouble for speaking out Please do not take it personally. I'm just a passionate person who cares about the area I've, uh, I live in. Thank you very much, everyone. I love it, and I love to hear it. Well said, honestly. I do. Yeah. You're absolutely right to be passionate, and you spoke brilliantly there, to be honest. Um, and I, and, I, and I, I feel it. I feel all, all of the same things, and I bet Sean does as, as well, because... I think your borough has been quite hit by what I would call the Gove experiment in education, um, where he just kind of ripped up the rules and anybody could open anything. And I mean, you know, you'll know. I won't go into all the, de into all the details. But Andy, sorry, Andy, what frustrates a lot of the uh, people in Werneth Ward is, and a lot of the female. Sorry, what for state law of this uh, uh, resident of Werneth is, the Oldham local authority has given money to some of the school, but we cannot, we cannot access it. Maybe I'm wrong, and someone could clarify it, but we know, we know, we, we know at this moment in time, my son uh, is in, in year six. The only school I've got available and I can apply for is always this list book. I am being, uh, whether it's discriminated or whatever, it, Whatever you call it, I'm, I'm not good with English, so please do not mind if I use that word. I, yeah, restricted. I've applied for Blue Coat School, Crompton House, Newman College, uh, was, and I, 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 you know, because of the funding, because of the school administration okay. criteria, I can't access it. And answer some of the specifics on the law, because I don't know all of those things. <laughs> just, just to say, before he does, what I was getting at, though, is councils have had the education role taken away from them to be honest as we've gone towards academies and free schools and I do work in a secondary school yeah <laughs> but we we would like to have devolved control of education but we don't and nor does the council anymore yeah. all right uh, thanks andy and, and thanks for Mar maroof i did i didn't want to get the opportunity to speak to you about this in person and it's presented itself this evening so that's fantastic um not in the forum that i anticipated but hey ho um so the, the top priority and it comes back to the first question that andy was asked actually but the top priority of oldham 
Oldham Council now, uh, because I've been a leader four months and I'm relatively new, is to get education right. Yeah, we've got three pledges under education, which is to get every school to be rated good or outstanding by 2020, as graded by Ofsted, to get every child to be school ready, so that they're ready to learn and they've got the social and language skills that they need uh, for when they start school and come through the school gates, as, as Andy's referred to. And the third is to invest £30 million in new school facilities in Oldham, and that's to meet the demand for places. Um, and it's a real frustration for authorities like Oldham and others around the country where there is a deficit of places because the rules that the government have set down are that councils can't, where they identify that there's a need, they just can't open a school to meet that demand. You have to either open a free school or an academy. And a free school or an academy, you know, anybody can tip up and say, oh, I want some public money and I can open a school and, and it'll be great, don't worry, stay away from us, Oldham Council. It's wrong, and I don't agree. But as a council, what we can do is we can work with that process and we can find somebody that we, is a known quantity and is known to provide a good standard of education and use the free school pro, pro, process to our advantage, which is exactly what we're doing. And it's what we did with Northmore Academy, because we opened the new school uh, on the Old Grange site next to Oldham College to meet the demand for primary school places. And it's what we're going to do for a new secondary school in the town centre. And we're working with a locally based academy sponsor who is going to open a school that will be accessible to the people on the doorstep. I know there are things on social media, I know there are things elsewhere that suggest otherwise, but it will be accessible to, uh, to the people that live on the doorstep. Um, and the point about the council giving money to schools, I think you're referring specific, specifically to Blue Coat, and it's a Church of England school. We have given money to that school for it to expand, but a condition of that was that they changed our admissions criteria, because you're right, it was a school in the centre of Oldham, where a lot of the people that live around that area aren't necessarily the Church of England faith, but they changed our admissions criteria so that it took in more people from communities that don't follow that faith, and so that they could attend. Uh, they have, they have, that's true. And that's what the, the admission policy of the new school as well will be the same. Well, right. well, well, well said, sure. Yeah. I, mean, I, can, I um, just want to just very quickly add another point if I could, and I know the gentleman wants to come in on, on the third row there, but um, just to add, you know, I agree with everything that's been said. I believe passionately in comprehensive education that is locally accountable to, to the community, and we don't have that at the moment. Angela Rayner, the Shadow Education Secretary, has been talking about that this week, and I think she's really right to, to talk about that. But you mentioned EMA. Now, I, I don't have a budget to bring back the EMA, nor do I have powers to tell schools what to do. However, I come back to the first question. I, I, I am trying to find a budget to pay for a free bus pass for all 16 to 18 year olds, and I do believe that policy could have a really positive impact on this borough because it would send a message to every young person here that there is something for them at the end of school, that they can get to an opportunity, a study opportunity or a work opportunity. And I'm, I'm driving TFG, I'm a bit mad with it, but I'm, gonna, I'm afraid I'm going to carry on driving them mad with it. The reason being that, in my view, could really help lift people's aspirations and improve their life chances. And I'm going to carry